Hey guys, welcome to another Glass Bio video. And today we're going to be talking about DNA replication. Uh, DNA replication is the process by which the cell makes an identical copy of a DNA strand. Uh, and it would do this anytime the cell needs to divide. So before the process of mitosis or before the process of meiosis, DNA replication must occur. And we're talking about mitosis in the cell cycle. The replication occurs during the S phase of the cell cycle. Okay, so one of the most important things to know for DNA replication is that DNA replication can only occur in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction on the newly constructed strand. So when we're talking about the direction, we're talking about the direction on the newly constructed strand and not on the strand uh, on the original or template strand. So what you see here is a double-stranded piece of DNA, and, and one strand is coded uh, blue and one strand is, is coded red uh, for specific reasons. Um, and notice the direction uh, that we have for each of those strands. So let's start the process of DNA replication. So the first thing that you're going to see is our uh, first enzyme. There's a bunch of enzymes involved here. Our first enzyme is going to come in and attach at the origin of replication. And that enzyme, the big purple enzyme here, is helicase. And helicase, the function of helicase, is to unzip this double-stranded uh, piece of DNA. So you'll see as this goes through, it actually unzips that double-stranded piece of DNA. Now, the second protein that we'll talk about are these single-stranded binding proteins. Uh, and what these do is they keep this double strand from connecting back to one another. So imagine you took a, uh, a poster and you rolled that poster up and you left it there for a long time and then you wanted to unroll it, so you flattened it out and then you let go, the poster would just roll back up again. DNA would do pretty much the same thing if the single-stranded binding proteins weren't there. So their job is to actually hold this DNA open. And our Hilly case now is going to continue to um, move down. And what you're going to see is that you can only add the um, new nucleotides on the 3' prime end of that strand. So you see here that our uh, nucleotides are being added on on that 3' prime end. And first thing that you're going to see is primase. And what primase does, primase is actually a type of RNA polymerase. Primase comes in and adds a little RNA primer here. Because, like I said, the enzyme that we're going to talk about, DNA polymerase 3, can't start this new strand. It, already, it has to start where there's already a foundation being built. And that's what this RNA primer does. So this is actually a strand of RNA. So since we're making a double-stranded piece of DNA, we know eventually this thing is, is going to be released. So we have that RNA strand already there, and since it's there, our DNA polymerase can now come in and attach on, and now add on to our piece of DNA. Right? Notice that it's going in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. You'll see this up here, going in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. Right? So this piece of DNA polymerase 3, this enzyme DNA polymerase 3, is going to move here. And since it's moving towards the replication fork, which is this area where the helicase is moving, that's called the leaning strand. It's going to run continuously, again, in that 5' prime to 3' prime direction. Now, we have this bottom strand down here that's going to run in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. But for this bottom strand, that's going this way. All right, so this one top, on strand, top strand is the leaning strand going in this direction. And the bottom strand is a lagging strand going in this direction. So before we go any further, let's just recap what we have so far. So we have our original or template strand of DNA. We have our helicase enzyme here, which is just common and unzipped our strand of DNA. We have our uh, DNA polymerase 3, which is moving here in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction on the top, which would make this the leading strand. And then in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction on the bottom, moving in the opposite direction, which would make that the lagging strand. Uh, what you're not seeing here, again, are the um, single-stranded binding proteins, which are holding this open, um, or the primase, which has come in and added in these RNA primers. Uh, so that's where we are. So let's move on from there. So what we're going to see as this process uh, moves forward is that our DNA polymerase on the leading strand is just going to move continuously. And that continuous movement of that strand uh, allows it to continuously add on our nucleotides. Now, what you're seeing here on the lagging strand on the bottom is that our um, the primers had to come in and add another RNA primer. And it'll have to do the same here 
as our helicase moves forward. So it added another primer, uh, uh, RNA primer, and the DNA polymerase 3 came in and started to create from there. So what you're going to see is a second form of DNA polymerase, which came in and, and removed the primer and added on the proper nucleotides. Okay, so DNA polymerase 3 is it's what's going to add the nucleotides in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. And DNA polymerase 1 is what's going to come in and remove this RNA primer and add on the proper uh, DNA nucleotides and replace those RNA nucleotides. And then the additional enzyme that you just saw that popped up in here was our DNA ligase. And what the DNA ligase will do is it will fill the gap between each of the fragments on the lagging strand. Uh, and that gap gives you the Okazaki fragments. And you'll see that as we move forward a little bit here. Uh, another primase comes in. Our DNA polymerase 3 comes along. Uh, and now what we see here, uh, let's back this up a little bit, what you see here is a gap between this fragment and this fragment. All right, this fragment and this fragment are separate fragments, so we call those Okazaki fragments. And again, here's our DNA polymerase 1. We're going to remove that primer and add in the right DNA nucleotides to replace the RNA nucleotides. And then our ligase is going to come in and patch up that hole. There we go. Here comes in our ligase. And notice in our leading strand, none of this is taking place. Just the DNA polymerase working all the way through. That is it for DNA replication. Remember that with replication, it's a completely separate process from protein synthesis. So you're not talking about your star chronons, your stop chronons. You're just talking about making an identical copy of the DNA strand from the strand that already exists.